Hello and welcome, Marlene here with a bit of a weird free game on Steam. Uh, warning, this game contains potentially disturbing subject matter and tripophobia inducing imagery, which is exciting. The game is called How Fish is Made, and it's supposed to be a pretty weird one. I actually do have the tripophobia, which I believe is the fear of like lots of little holes together. Oh god, I can't stand it, so I might come to regret playing this. Let's go! Oh, so we're just a floppy fish. Hi. Oh, hello. You just dropped. Uh, tell me, are you going up or down? You'll have to make up your mind by the end. Even the oiliest of us have to, so don't flatter yourself with your choice. Uh, where am I going? And don't worry about that. So which is it? Up or down? Um... I feel like up is the right choice, but I feel like I probably shouldn't say up because they're going to try and trick you, right? Let's say down. Ha uh, ha. Uh, are you sure? No, but let's go. Better be sure. Ha. Uh, okay. By the way, the machine can't talk to you, so you shouldn't talk to it. Ha uh, ha. Uh, okay. I don't want to talk to the machine. It's looking pretty nasty in here. Oh, there's another floppy fish! Hello, friend! Up, up, up! You look like a smart guy. You also know the way is one way, and that way is up, and ain't no two ways about it. I've always known it was up. I never asked, I never changed, never lied. Let me hear you sing it. I like to hear it. Where are you going? Where are you going? Down. What you say? Come again? Down. Wonder what will happen to you. Will it hurt? Will it stop? Oh well. Alright. I am more cemented into my opinion that down is the right way to go. Is it, oh, it's a fish in the freaking can holder. Uh, what fortune that we should meet. Do not be foiled by that one. He is lost, like so many are. We can only poetry them. I see you are in awe of my throne of inspiration. It clung to me suddenly one day, much like all my ideas do. Complete and undeni undeniable. Undeniable. Complete and undeniable. No, no, take it in as much as you like. It is a confirmation of my most oily brain. Do tell, what blind groping has brought you to your choice? Be forewarned, I did a lot of thinking to know which is, indeed, the correct way. All answers come to me very quickly, such is my burden. Would you like to know? It might change your entire word view. World view? <laughs> it is down. Yes, this I know for sure. But how, I hear you ask. Let me explain. No. It is simply too complex for you to phantom. Fathom? <laughs> My methods are beyond simple minds. I have never ever thought of a single reason to question myself. Can you believe it? No, you cannot. I am elated to have saved you from making a father embarrassment of yourself further. Just think of me as your guide, mentor, and sage. You're welcome. Oh, do I want to go down? No, I don't know. <laughs> yes. Down is the choice we've made. We're sticking to it. Let's head onward. Ew. Red hole. Oh, hi. Hang on, I must talk to every fish. You look scared. What's wrong? Ah. Oh, hello. Um, the way's over there. Okay, are you scared? I don't know what to do. My family went up, but my best bud said that down is the correct choice. The family is big, but distant in their togetherness. But the big group together is safest. It's the toppestest truth. Why would he do this to me? Down is wrong. I can feel it between my shiniest flakes. We've swam together since both of us were but scrampy things. But how can I know if he'll agree to always be my friend? No one cares about how I feel, not even him. I don't want to choose if I can't know exactly how it will turn out. Y you, which way should I go? Up with the family or down with my buddy? Down? I'm going down too, so. Really? I've been so stupid I can't make decisions for myself. My buddy always told me as much. He'll be angry when I join him, but he always tells me how to earn his forgiveness. I won't make this mistake again. Oh, how wonderful, how good, this freedom of certainty. Oh, I'm glad I could help. I'll see you down there, bud. Is 
this is where we get to make the decision. Are we inside a living thing? What are we in? Down we go. How could we have gone up? What? Do I have any control? No. We accept our fate. Oh, it's, it's dark down here. <gasps> it's a fish. What is that? Hello. Behold. What do we do to deserve bearing witness to such a glory? It, it must mean something. But what? What is it trying to say? I've broke through my noggin. I've eyed every detail. I don't understand the message. <laughs> there must be a way out of this creature's stomach. The answer is here. Look who's down upon us. Oh. What is it revealing? Down. Yes, yes, I see it. Can you see it? It has to be. Behold, behold. It swallowed us down, so we must keep going down. First, I must get inside. I must be cleansed by this untainted substance. Join me. Wash with me in this impurity. Yeah, I will. So we can talk to them more than once, I guess. Oh, to be chosen for such sublime anointment? I truly envy him. I must become worthy. <sighs> okay, what the fuck? So we are inside something. Oh, it's a fish in there. What's he in? What the frick? Okay. Let's just advance. You have fun worshipping that thing. So to everything I'm just going to say down. Unless the question is, which way is opposite of the way I should go? Okay. Was well, it expecting moving light? We can't be inside something alive. There's like gears and shit. Oh, there's something stuck in that gear. It's a fish. Oh, is he alive? Oh, he is! Oh, oh! Please help me! It's embarrassing, but I thought I had found the gills of this creature that swallowed us. So I figured I'd wriggle my way out through them. But who would have thought? They were not gills. If it's not too much of a bother, could you unstuck me? Thank you ever so much for your kindness. Oh, wait, hold on. This is important. Whatever you do, just make sure not to touch that round, red, glowing thing over there, okay? Thanks. Whew, what a relief. I thought I might be stuck here forever. I get the feeling we can't save him. I can barely feel my fins. Are they still there? Yeah? Oh, oh. I think I have to go on the button. I don't think there's a way to save him. Alright, I guess we just put him out of his misery, right? What are, what are you doing? Don't touch that! Somebody help me! Help! Ah. <laughs> Let's do it! I'm sorry, bud. It's okay, I can't even do it anyway. I'm sorry! Rest in peace! Oh. I don't feel good about that. But, we have to keep going. We need to find out how fish are made. What is this? Okay, what the fuck are we in? Now I feel like I'm inside something's innards. The best quality of the hills removed before packing. Yeah. Huh? Exhaust books cook them before best flavoring. What? Okay, so that was kind of one of my hunches is we're in like a fish production factory or something and we're seeing through the fish's eyes. That's a lot of blood. Yeah. Literally, I have absolutely no idea what the frick's gonna happen next in this game. It is so bizarre already. <gasps> but I love it. I'm growing quite fond of my little fish. He's pretty cute. I don't want to see him die. I think we're gonna see him die. Oh. <gasps> Hi. What are you doing? You do not look too good. What the f- oh! Oh, it's ew! It's one of those tongue-eating parasites! Ew! I remember seeing a picture of one of these in a fish's mouth. Aha! <gasps> uh -huh. What fortune that you dropped into this most productive of places. 
him. Why, me and my friendo here go way back. I ate his tongue, and we've been co-workers ever since. I'll bet you we have a lot of learnings we could share. I always say, you have to get passionate about something. Me? I'm passionate about friendship. I want to be there for people as much as possible. It's like my buddy here always says, teamwork is the soul of success. I think that's beautiful. Now, well by golly, I've been struck by the most brilliant of ideas. Would you mind if I incentivize you with a little musical stylings of my own creation? My friend though does so enjoy a little show tune here and there. Alrighty then, hold on your gills. Okay. Hey, were those sturdy Q-tips? Okay, oh yeah, shake it. Shake it, buddy. <laughs> oh, you're still comedy and ultra effective combinations. Oh, what are we gonna see here? Here's the holding grudges. Got a plan to fix, oh, here's the motherfuckers. And black box medication. Here's the holding grudges. Got my attention seeking ideation. So the next time you see raw meat twitching, don't worry, it's safe to eat knowing it's very fresh. Okay. Ew, oh, I don't, really? I'm killing time living with it. Just living with it. Just living with it. Do fish feel pain? Oh no. Oh yes, you'll be buried with it. Do right, follow that plan. Written on the side of the can. It's obvious, until it isn't. Yeah, man. I could do what they couldn't. <laughs> Tell him, friendo. He can't talk, he's got no tongue, dude. You fucking ate it. <laughs> oh, the horror. I'm in a hole. I'm on a stage. A performance. <laughs> a real, real shame. Oh boy. Killing time, living with it. <laughs> Ew! What was that? Was that a real thing? Fucking god. <laughs> me? Oh. Don't point that dirty fucking Q-tip at me. Ew. That fish looks fucking miserable. His existence is pain. Oh. You're kinda cute, but still... Ew. Oh, fucking gross. Okay, well, thanks for that. Ooh, ooh, well, buddy, how we feeling? Sync with success, aligned with ambition? Uh, sure, yeah. No doubt about it, my buddy, my pal. I dare say I smushed a little of my core competence in ya. What? You'll feel it real soon, don't you worry. Excuse me? Did he make a baby in my tongue? Okay, keep it moving, pal. Dude, I better not have a fucking parasite that's gonna eat my tongue. Oh god. I wish I could put that fish out of his misery. Oh, what's this? Looks like a slide. See, now it looks like we're inside a living thing again. What the fuck? This game is just all over the place. Also, what the hell did we just watch? It already doesn't feel like it was reality. I just- I love people's unique creations. Like, what is going on in their head? I love it. I don't think it could ever be this original. Okay, that looks like blood dripping from the ceiling. <sighs> oh, is that a pile of dead fish? Oh no. We've gone the wrong way. Are they dead? Aww. Oh, yep. There's a bunch of little holes. Oh god, yeah, this is gonna be the hallway. Oh, if those little things inside all those little holes move. Oh my god. These images stay with me. I've seen this exact creature, whatever the fuck it is. I think it's a plant. 
and it gets photoshopped onto things. It's the grossest fucking imagery. Oh my god, ew. I love that they put a warning for this though. Like, I can't take my eyes off it. It's so gross looking. It just makes me uncomfortable and itchy. <gasps> Why do you deserve it? Will you be able to live with it? Try and try and try and try and try again. Ah, uh, those double action hinges have always been there. Just for you, right? You'll come back. Everyone does. Weak. Or you'll go looking. One way or another, right? Weak. Oh my god. Oh. Make it stop. What even are they? Eggs? Alright. Didn't bother me as much as I thought it would. Thought that was gonna be a lot harder to get through. They didn't move that much. Oh! Okay, it got worse. <laughs> All right, just get to the end. Oh. Just get to the end. Oh, the music got really nice though. Is this it? Is this the finish line? Oh, hello. It is time. Choose. Down. I see. Do you understand yet? This privilege of choice that has been given to a worthless critter like you, that is the gift, not the outcome. Did the uncertainty scare you? Or does it scare you more to know there is no choice for you at all? Then all of this would have been for nothing. But wouldn't it feel better? Don't flatter yourself. I'll tell you a secret. You've already made your choice. This is not about making a decision. This is a test of conviction. Have you strayed from your path? Have you been honest and true to your truth, even to others? <laughs> Did you believe me just now? I'm just a fish in an imposing room. Good enough, right? I wouldn't eat any of those. They taste awful. <laughs> Fuck me either. They just look gross. Alright. Thank you for your wisdom, oh fish. What is this freaking thing? Oh, what is that? <gasps> Alright. I had it, I was wondering if we actually did have a choice or if it was just, I don't know, a lesson. What is that? It doesn't look like a fish. <gasps> oh, it's a big fish tail. Oh, that's a big boy. Impressive length. This is really it, huh? I'll level with ya. Ain't real sure I can do this. Did you run into that smart talking fella earlier? He sure did seem to know what he was talking about. Here I've been always thinking I'm the biggest thing in the water. Look at me now, a big old boy shivering like a scramp out in the blue. <laughs> anyway, I thought keeping track of how many fish went in either direction could help. Not sure it did at all, let me tell ya. I reckon you want to hear how many have gone each way? Yeah. You sure? Might be best to just follow your gut at this point. Yeah, I'll hear it. It's still going down though. Alrighty, by my count, 199 fish have gone up and 474 have gone down. Oh damn, we're in the majority. Ain't all this just worse than a loose flake in your gill? Well, hell. If I can't help myself at this point, maybe I could at least give you a better chance, partner. How about I go on and skadoodle into one of them? And just holler up real loud the first thing I notice. What do you think about that? <laughs> Heck, it's so stupid, it just might be genius. Look at us, two big old oily friends making our own dang currents. <laughs> Alright, hit me. Which way, partner? Well, I'm going down. Yeah, so we're gonna go together? Let me tell you before I go, partner. You made a dumb old fish feel real big again, right at the end. For a real small little thing, you're looking real big too right now. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Ruda! It's go time. Catch you on the flip side, partner. Where'd you go? I wanna go down too. Down was red, yeah? Partner! Here I go, listen up. Ruby! It, it feels soft. Uh, I like soft. Soft feels good. Unless the situation calls for the opposite of soft. <laughs> okay. Okay. Though sometimes hard. 
I'm just gonna shut up. That's up. Blue is down. Alright. Are you ready? It's it's the moment. It's all built up to this. Let's go. Oh, it's dark. Oh, it's quiet. You know, I always hated hearing. Don't worry. A lot of people are going through the same thing. You're not alone. There's this selfish barbed wire inside my chest that coils up at that. No, my pain is more tragic, grander, deeper. If only you knew. That's not true, of course. I hate talking about it. Because I hate people who talk about it. And that's not very nice. That's not okay. That's not how you can be about all of this. It's not romantic, but at least it's true. Don't worry, a lot of people are going through the same thing. And that's what it makes it the best USP yet. USP. Thanks for playing. <laughs> can anything beat home cooking straight off the conveyor belt? These fish are so fresh, they might just give you a little wink and jump right off the plate into your mouth. Ain't no meal that can't be kicked into higher gear with the addition of nature's own flavor torpedoes. So indulge in the oiliest, saltiest sardines served every day by our ingeniously creative kitchen artists. Take pride in knowing you helped bring these little troopers to our plates, friends. That's not flattery. That's a fact. What the fuck? Do we have to play it again and go up? I think we do. We gotta play this again and go up. Alright, little fish. This time we going up, baby. Are you sure? Yep. Better be sure, huh? Okay, he didn't say much different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, the machine can't talk. Was there even a machine we could have tried interacting with? I don't think so. Maybe there was. I don't freaking know. Don't even talk to him. I just get on the button like we have to. There was no choice. This guy's gotta die. Or I think we can just slip through. Let's try just slipping through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. I know. But I am gonna to touch it. Yeah, you can't just slip through. No, oh, so sad. I'm sorry. Damn, we're dicks. But I mean, you, just, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? I can't just stay there forever. Did you expect me to stay there forever with him? I'm a fish. I don't got thumbs. How am I supposed to freaking help him? I don't even have a hand. All right, we're speed running this bitch. No more ch chit chat, and we don't have time to listen to that freaking weird tongue parasite song. <laughs> Fuck that was. Let's talk to him and say no, though. Let's see if he says anything and gets like offended or something. I have a feeling he's gonna get offended. <laughs> so gross. Oh, he doesn't give you a choice. No, I don't want to watch this again. Okay, good. You can skip it. Brava. <laughs> No. Are you stupid? Fuck off. Goddamn tongue parasite. Call me stupid. <laughs> I think what grosses me out the most about this sort of thing is just like... You can't see it all. There's so many. Like, what if that happened in your skin? Anything clustered is so gross. I don't know why. There are certain fruits I just cannot even look at. Nasty. <gasps> oh, up we go. Into the darkness. Same ending? You know, I always hated hearing... You don't have to... Yeah, this is the same ending I'm thinking. Oh wait, different. Your growing mass is a grand leaking open wound. All thoughts wail simultaneously. The merged knowing of insignificant brains. Complete worldly knowledge curls in on itself into a snarled amalgamation. The weight of the information collapses in itself, vast but useless. This putrid mass rots from within, mauls, dies, impregnates itself to birth more, more fat, more muscle, more tissue. Nothing can be accomplished, for your consensus cannot be reached as one. You are a swelling god of no purpose, no direction, and no self. Okay. That was both endings. That was how fish is made. What did you think? What a strange, strange little game. I liked it a lot though. You know me, I freaking just love old school retro -y gla graphics. PS1 era is probably one of my favorite timings of gaming. But I think mostly because I was young and carefree and I could just play games all day and not care. <laughs> Which I kind of do nowadays too. Either way, it was cute. I actually quite, I'm quite fond of fish. They're cute in their own way. Deep sea stuff freaks me out though. And I couldn't, oh, I couldn't be a fish. I enjoyed this experience. It kind of made you think of it. 
is it deeper than I'm realizing? I think this game has a deeper meaning, but I had to think about it for a while before I could articulate my thoughts on it. <laughs> uh, I really quite enjoyed the tongue parasite part. That was out of third field, man. That was freaking out of nowhere. That was bizarre. I wish it had singing. I wish it had voice acting for that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. And if you liked the video, give it a like. If you want to see more like it, subscribe. Hope to see you next time. Bye.